What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak or for something to be released for iOS 13.3.1, 13.4 and 13.4.1. Well, Falza has been released. It's Falza Escape, which works with iOS 13.4.1 and lower. Now for those of you who do not know, Falza is basically a file manager which allows you on a jailbroken device to browse the whole file system and of course it allows you to create files, to remove files and modify applications and games and stuff like that by, you know, changing their application files and changing your scores and your points and whatever in games and of course other stuff. So it's a very versatile application, very used in a jailbroken environment, but unfortunately Falza is only available on a jailbreak because it requires you to have a sandbox escape and root and stuff like that. Well, just a couple of days ago, BassVT posted quote, Falza Escape 13.4.1 is here, should support all iPhones in iOS up to 13.4.1, yes, A13 and A12 as well which means it supports iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11, 11 Pro and even the iPhone SE 2020. Go to altstore.io and install the IPA with that, Mac and Windows. Thanks to Riley and Saigusa for the amazing zero day. Enjoy. And when he says zero day, he talks about Saigusa's bug in here. He said, quote, rip my very first zero day, an absolute best sandbox escape ever. And actually, this is the best sandbox escape ever. It's the simplest one, yet the most powerful one, because it just abuses the entitlement list file so that's actually quite good. Now he also posted in here a very good write-up of the vulnerability and how they exploited it so this is actually quite cool if you check it out in here. But yes with a very powerful sandbox escape available Falza escape could have easily been created because Bass just bundled them together and of course the uh, exploit runs before Falza when you start Falza and at that point you do have a sandbox escape so you're able to use Falza semi-normally. Now there are some limitations to this. I think that there's no remount for the moment so you can only write to the user partition which is basically slash var but that's where the most important things are your scores for the games your application data your photos your whatever everything that is user related is in there so if you want for example to modify a game and I don't know do something to it to the scores or to the user profile or stuff like that you can go in var find the application and its files and of course you would be able to modify it with no problem now this is not the only thing Falza can do. As I said, it's a file manager, so you can even modify system files like the system version and of course modify various springboard related things so that you can change the text on your lock screen and stuff like that. But that requires a remount, which we don't have for the moment. He will probably bundle one in the future, but for now there isn't one. Well, how you install it? Well, you download it from Mega in here and you're going to need altstore.io, which is basically this program in here, available for macOS and Windows. And it's actually pretty simple to use. I have a tutorial in the description down below on how to use it with Uncover, but you can replace the Uncover with any IPA you want and it would work. So if you don't know how to use Alt Store and Alt Server, check out the tutorial down below. The tutorial is available for Windows. Now for macOS, it's as simple as installing the Alt Store server and of course you press install Alt Store with the phone connected and you should be able to install any IPA directly on your device. But anyways, this is based on this very, very good vulnerability in here and I bet this is not going to be the last one to be based on that vulnerability because Saigusa's vulnerability is very very, very powerful and it allows you to even start working on a jailbreak for iOS 13.4.1 and such. Granted, it's only a sandbox escape for the moment, not TFP0 and stuff like that, but a sandbox escape is important for a jailbreak. Well, if you do have TFP0, you can get a sandbox escape through that, but still it's a very good vulnerability and it allowed the creation of Falza Escape for iOS 13.3.1, 13.4 and 13.4.1 before we even had a TFP0 kernel exploit for this iOS versions. So this is actually quite cool. If you are a Falza a user and you want it on your latest iOS version, go ahead and check it out right now. But yeah, iOS 13.4.1 is currently the latest version available, as you can see from here, and 13.4 is no longer signed. So yeah, if you feel like modifying stuff on your phone, even without a jailbreak, go ahead and download it right now. The link will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Till the next time, don't forget to check out our forum here, the Jailbreak Central, where you can ask questions and of course check out the latest jailbreak news. And if you do have any questions, you can ask them in the jailbreak support in there. This is available at jailbreak sc365.info. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the alt store slash alt server tutorial in the description down below and peace out.